Welcome to the DevExpress Learn Now series, a set of quick tutorials to help you get started using our controls. In this video, I'll show you how to add a custom grouping algorithm to the DX grid. So let's get started. I already have a grid control that's bound to the products table of the sample Northwind database. In XAML, I'll set the unit price columns group index to zero. You'll see that the unit price column is now above within the grouping area. When I run the application, you can see that the grid is now grouped by each unit price in ascending order of value. Let's say that I want to group these values in increments of $10. I return to Visual Studio and in XAML, I'll create a custom sort mode and then set my grid control for custom grouping. I switch to code view and add the following code. Here, I first make sure that my unit price column is being referenced. So if the process column is unit price, then I'll compare two adjacent rows. If the rows should be combined into the same group, the result is set to zero. Otherwise, it's set to one or minus one. Note that the handled property must be set to true to make sure that no default processes are required. I then set the display text to read unit price in $10 increments. Now when I run the application, you'll see that our grid is grouped by unit price and that each grouping is set at $10 increments. When I expand each group, you can see all of the products included in each increment. And that's how you can set custom grouping rules for the DX grid. Thanks for watching. Let's see what develops. 